Hey, what's up? It's MarketAlchemist.Camp, where we learn Elixir and Phoenix by building things. Today, we're going to continue our simple Phoenix Live View app and change the listing pages for the podcasts from this to something like this. I was already building this. I was just building this on a separate branch, which is why I've got it in my browser there. But once we load IEX, once we start up the server and hit refresh, we'll go back to the old version. So as you can see, this is just really simple default templates. We just see a table of all the information and we obviously don't want all that information. So let's start by pruning some things that we don't need to show. Is published is something we just show through color or not bother showing at all. So we'll remove that and in the preview, we don't want to see uh, the HTML version with all the HTML tags in it. So let's remove that as well. And let's see here, the title and the subtitle will both show up. However, we're going to put them in one line and we'll make that the first item way on the left. So we'll do it like this and just show the title and subtitle together like so, we'll make the title a div so that we get uh, a line of space. Let's make that a div as well. Then we don't need to open up a uh, new table data there. And save that, see what that looks like. So we have title, subtitle. It's kind of hard to see because we've got so much data in the notes. So let's, uh, let's trim that a bit. We'll use string.slice. String.slice will get uh, some subsection of a string. So this is the string is the first argument and then we'll start from the zeroth position and go to the 140th, just like Twitter. That's a bit better. We've got these little previews now. Um, let's actually add a dot 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 at the end of it since it is truncated and every single episode will have more notes than that. That's looking better. Um, now, instead of having a separate uh, link to the show here, let's just turn this entire note part into that link. So we've got this link show to routes podcast path uh, show podcast right here. So we'll copy this part, uh, or actually we'll cut that part and get ready to copy it in here. So we'll make this a link. We're going to link this string, which we've already calculated. We'll make this multi-line to this route that we've already got. And we're probably gonna need a class in there as well. Let's just save this as it is though and see what it looks like. Uh, let's see, syntax error before two. Let's see, oh, we've got a double two here. So we'll just get rid of one of those. Yeah, the entire thing's green. We don't really want that. So we'll make a class and we'll just call this notes preview. Class doesn't exist yet. We'll have to go to our app.scss and create one. So we'll call this notes preview. And I think all we really need to do here is just set the color. So color burnt brown, just like it is by default. Yeah, that looks a bit better. So we've got our link in here and we don't really need to show people the edit and the delete at all. So we'll get rid of that from our index. Just get rid of this entire table item actually. And let's go up here, get rid of the empty table header. And we don't need subtitle either since we've got that under the same one as title. Okay, now the title is kind of hard to distinguish what's the main title and what's a subtitle. So in this podcast subtitle section, let's wrap that in a span. We'll give the span a class of subtitle, which we've already made previously. And just pull that down to the next line and add another span here, uh, or add a closing span there. So now it's in gray, it's a little bit clearer. And I think maybe this part should be bold. Do we need the, nah, it's okay how it is. Now, instead of showing this big audio URL 
uh, as a string and making the user copy it and paste it into their uh, location bar like that, let's just make that into a play button. And just the lazy way to do this is I'll go to a Unicode key symbols page and let's just grab this one right here. So we're going to make the audio into a link. So link this symbol into podcast audio URL. Save that. And we don't need two of these open. All right, so we've got a little link there. Okay, now let's uh, style this a bit. I think we'll we'll put it in the style sheet, but for now we'll just use a style directly so we can uh, see what's going on. First thing is I think we want to make this inline block. That way we can uh, get a background on it. So background is going to be black. And okay, that's uh, that's not quite what we want. Looks like the padding's not quite even either. So let's add some padding. I think we're we're not going to have it quite even. Yeah, we need a bit more on the left and uh, really nothing on the bottom at all. So we'll do 5px, 5px, 0, and 10px. And 10 is a bit much, so we'll go 8px. That looks reasonably close. Now let's uh, add some some border radius to that. So border radius of 5px. And that's almost a reasonable play button. It still looks a bit small though. So let's increase this to, let's see, we'll make this 8px and we'll make this 3px. Yeah, that looks pretty reasonable and we've got uh, the same hover action we have on any link. I think I'll leave this as uh, uh, just as a normal link so someone could go directly to hey, it. So, uh... Or they could open it up in a new page or a new tab. Hey, so. Yeah, I like it like that. Okay, so let's pull this out. This, this whole line, well, actually, not the whole line, the whole style. And we'll make that into a class. So just delete that there. Go into our app.scss, make a class called play. And don't need the quote anymore. And we don't need the style bit anymore. And go back to our index and make this class of play. In line block dis display in line block. Okay. You know what, now that looks a little bit off. Now I think it's too high. So we'll go back to 5px, 5px, 0, and 8px. Yeah. Okay, so we've basically gotten our index page styled. Next episode, we'll upgrade LiveView again, since it's been a while and we're still on version 0.8.1. If you want to make sure you get that episode, hit subscribe, click the bell, and see you next time.